Hi, uh, my name is Kirsten Johnson and I am a social scientist. I have been working in international development for more than 20 years, conducting research on topics ranging from global health and nutrition to agriculture and food security. In my role at USAID in the Bureau for Resilience and Food Security, AgriLinks has been important to the work that I do for more than five years. AgriLinks is like a marketplace that offers all of the foundational resources and information that you need if you're working in international food security, but also as you wander the aisles of AgriLinks, you can find those new ideas and innovative practices that can really drive improved understanding of food security dynamics, improved decision making, and ultimately the improved development outcomes that we're working towards for children, women, and men in the countries where we work. In terms of foundational resources in international food security, AgriLink serves as the central repository for the survey methods guidance we've developed for our Feed the Future Zone of Influence surveys. These are population-based surveys that we implement to monitor the progress of the Feed the Future initiative. AgriLinks makes these resources a truly global public good. Anybody with an internet connection can download the protocols, questionnaires, manuals, data analysis programs, and more. What this does is it allows us to make our work transparent. Additionally, all of these resources can also be reused by other researchers. And kind of in this way, AgriLinks allows us to conform to the best open science practices and also helps us to really amplify the value of the taxpayer dollars that support development of these standard setting materials. In terms of those new ideas that can really drive progress in international food security, for the past two years, AgriLens has hosted a monthly theme showcasing how satellite data is being used right now to address some of the world's most pressing food security concerns. Using satellite data to look at everything from deforestation around the world, locust swarms that are damaging crops in East Africa in particular, availability of water for drinking, sanitation, and agriculture, to looking at how a changing climate affects the ability to produce crops and the ability to produce food for livestock. Agrolinks allows us to communicate about this innovative use of satellite imagery with its entire readership. And at the same time, it allows us to build a strong community of people who are working in this space and engage with all of those uh, development practitioners who see the possibilities for using these data to improve development outcomes. If I could describe AgriLinks in one word, it would be community. Happy 10-year anniversary, AgriLinks.